Welcome back, everybody. It's a cattle rustling ring busted in Oklahoma. It's an Old West crime with a modern twist. But the rustlers were no match for a posse of longtime Oklahoma lawmen. Ten men patrolling our prairie, protecting Oklahoma's cattle industry. And tonight we hit the trail with these cowboy cops. Watch as they round up the cattle rustlers. In Oklahoma, cattle rustling is just absolutely just blown up. Thieves see easy money. Probably as much as uh, 75 to 80 percent of these outlaws that we capture are, are doing meth. It's quick uh, for them to have cash in their hand to go right back straight to the dope house and get their dope. Department of Agriculture special agents travel the open roads of Oklahoma in search of stolen cattle and the crooks. Well, hopefully we can get that out of this boy. This day, they're hot on the trail of young men who left a rancher high and dry. And they sure as hell don't like it when they steal our stuff. Because we never stole nothing. Everything we got, we worked for. It. And that's what makes me mad. I worked for what I got. J.R. Barnes is out thousands. And I kind of get personally acquainted with my cattle, talk to them. And they come in and haul them all. JR's not alone. On average, about 1,500 head of cattle are reported missing every year in Oklahoma, according to the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association. At up to about $3,000 a piece, that's $4.5 million. <laughs> On average, Chief Flower says his department recovers less than half that. So, that in Oklahoma is a commodity that we are sworn to protect and warrants that protection because it's such a valuable resource to the state. Oil and cattle, that's where the money's at. Back on the road. Well, we need, we need to talk to you in person. The special agents have one confession in the case of Mr. Barnes' stolen cattle. All right, let's roll. They're closing in on two more and end up at a ranch near Sulphur, where they find a young ranch hand. Right, what was the motivation of doing these ones that you took over here by winning with them? Money bond. Just money? Just yes, needing money? I don't know what to say about it. It's, it's a slap in the face. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna a surprise for the foreman who just heard his hire confessed to cattle wrestling. Robert, this is Special Agent Eddie Davenport. Fast forward a few hours. I bet that's going to be your boy right there, Eddie. And agents get their final confession in a parking lot from a man who claims only to have witnessed the crime. These guys uh, have made their bed. Now they're going to have to sleep in it. It is what it is. They believe the so-called outlaws. This is what he brought in. His brought up. Sold the stolen cattle at a livestock auction in Sulphur. Unfortunately, after cattle are sold in a livestock market, they could wind up anywhere in the United States. Mr. Barnes may never get his cattle back, but will get his money. Chief Flowers and his team just made sure of it. When you walk up to one of these old farmers and ranchers. And they hold out their hand to you to shake your hand, and you look at their hands, and they're dirty, they're scarred, they're calloused, they're worn. Uh, that's what's feeding me and you, that guy right there. And again, in many cases, the rustlers are doing it to get drug money for meth. Now, as for this case, Chief Agent Jerry Flowers say they've identified five suspects now. These two men have been arrested so far, accused of stealing from even more ranches in Oklahoma.